the data view tab is where you can get some information and descriptive statistics on individual genes as well as some general information uh, on the uh, quality and uh, structure of your data on the left hand side there are three scroll down menus uh, from the first scroll down menu you can select uh, a gene uh, you want to look at from a list or you can also just type in the name of a gene and then select it uh, and all the plots will change accordingly uh, if you don't want to perform to perform the analysis on all the samples you can select a, a specific subset of samples based on uh, phenotypic descriptors or uh, you can also group uh, the samples by phenotype rather than viewing them as default as ungrouped individual samples so in this case i'm going to group them by time uh, and you can also select whether the plots should display uh, your data as a log counts per millions or as a row read counts under the plots tab you can see uh, first of all a uh, tsne clustering plot that shows you your samples clustered in different groups and overlays uh, expression levels of your gene of interest in this case IL-16 on top of that next we have an expression bar plot that shows you uh, the expression of uh, your gene of interest across uh, all the individual samples or as in this case across uh, phenotypes there is a plot that shows you the genes that are most correlated in terms of their expression to your gene of interest both positively and negatively correlated and you get an average rank plot that shows you uh, the relative rank of your gene of interest across all the genes in your data. Uh, there is a gene info tab that provides you some more information about your gene of interest. And uh, you can also deselect the gene summary if you don't want to see a uh, descriptive summary at the bottom. Um, there is a cumulative correlation uh, plot that shows you uh, the cumulative correlation of um, uh, your uh, gene of interest uh, with other uh, data sets and finally we have a tissue expression plot that shows you the expression of your gene across different uh, tissues in the body next we have the qc plot now this is related uh, to your data in general not to the individual gene you have selected here and what you can see here are several summary uh, plots uh, about your data so first of all we have the total uh, counts uh, of reads uh, for all your samples in this case i cluster them uh, i cluster the samples by time but if you want to see individual samples you just simply select and grouped here you can see the counts distribution uh, across your samples you can see a counts histogram um, there is an abundance of major gene types plot uh, and also uh, a plot that shows you uh, the average count uh, by gene type per sample next we have the counts tab uh, here you can uh, get a table that shows the gene expression values per sample uh, shown here or if you uh, prefer to view them by uh, phenotype just select a phenotype and then you get the average expression values across a specific phenotype as well as other statistics under the samples tab you get uh, some information on the phenotypic structure of your data so here you have the phenotype that you predefined in your data set and you can see how the various uh, samples uh, cluster along these phenotypes you also get a phenotype association plot that shows you uh, the correlation uh, between different phenotypes and a sample information table that uh, shows you a summary of uh, all the various phenotypes uh, per sample 
And finally, we have a contrasts tab. Uh, this uh, provides you with a contrast table where you can see uh, uh, the structure of all your pairwise comparisons. So, for example, if we look at this first uh, uh, comparison, uh, which is activated 12 hour samples versus non activated one, you can see that uh, the platform has taken all the non activated samples as one group and compared them against all the 12 hour samples as uh, the uh, other group.